guys welcome to a new video of mine today we will actually try to analyze the group D uh, from uh, Russian uh, Football World Cup 2018 uh, pay attention Messi is actually getting the stage um, indeed because actually in this group is uh, they are inserted teams like Argentina Croatia Nigeria and Iceland watch out this is uh, this is one of the toughest group this is uh, very equilibrate uh, I mean of course Argentina should dominate the the group for quality but sometimes I have problems on creating the atmosphere in the group of players in the team um, Croatia Croatia actually guys uh, could be an interesting underdog I think uh, the odds for uh, World Cup winning for Croatia are around 35, uh, so not bad, and the team is full of quality. Uh, and then we have Nigeria, Nigeria is uh, it's also full of uh, interesting players, uh, but we will actually get deep into that uh, in a while. Iceland, Iceland is a, Iceland is a very, very tough team to, to play against actually. Um, it's very organized and uh, they can actually play for each other like uh, like an army uh, so they are very dangerous in this in this um, in this aspect uh, let's get deep into the analysis of one by one uh, the teams that are included in the group D uh, Argentina will play with the 4-3-3 uh, they, 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 has, they had some some problems uh, with the with some rumors of the uh, sexual scandal with the with the Jorge Sampaoli, but the team is actually full full of great players, uh, top players. Um, we have the defense that is uh, very experienced with Mascherano and Otamendi. Uh, it's a bit slow, honestly. I don't like much uh, so much them actually. Uh, um, I would prefer, for example, in the place that Mascherano that is playing in uh, a Bay Fortune. I would put uh, Fazio that he, that he was doing a great season in Roma. Uh, in the midfield, though, they have quality and uh, and playmaking skills. Uh, in Biglia, uh, um, that is playing in Milan uh, for AC Milan, uh, they have actually fantasy uh, with Banega. That is maybe not the fastest player in the world, but it surely is uh, one of, with the highest highest technique. And then there's the dribbling skills, the passing skills, uh, and uh, and the creativity of Angel Di Maria. That is an authentic top player. I like the players so much. And then actually, uh, as strikers, they have Aguero, Higuain, and Messi. What what can what can I say about this trio? I mean, they can score goals with uh, in hundreds, thousands ways. They can actually score from distance with Aguero and Higuain, they, they have a very strong uh, kick. And then Messi, Messi can dribble him by himself and score alone if it's in a good day. But as we know, uh, in national team is not the Messi that is playing usually in Barcelona. But honestly, this is one of the last chances that he has to to, to become a legend, to win a World Cup with, uh, with Argentina. Probably the last chance because the next, next World Cup would be almost 35. Uh, what can I say? They have uh, crazy, crazy young talents like Pavon and Meza. Uh, especially I like like a lot uh, the Independiente guy Meza, and they have a, a former a former attacking player that I was recycled as a midfielder, uh, Lo Celso from PSG is very very good. So let's keep an eye on these guys. Um, Croatia, what can I say about Croatia? Croatia, uh, Croatia is, uh, they have actually a strong defense, big guys, Lovren and Vida, but they are a bit slow as well. Mm, they have actually a good uh, right back, uh, I'm speaking about Versalic from Atletico Madrid. He's a very great player, always consistent. And then they have, uh, they have geniuses in, in midfield. I mean, they have Kovacic on the bench, figure that out. It's incredible. Uh, but then they have Modric, that is one of probably the best midfielder in the world in this moment, and Brozovic. Brozovic in Inter was having a great second second part of the season. Uh, I'm very pleased with his performances. Um, he's gonna be one of the main players uh, of this World Cup, I'm sure. 
and then uh, they are playing with 4-2-3-1 so we're on the three places behind the striker they have uh, people that can dribble they can score goals they can actually score by head by long shot like piazza from Schalke 04 but uh, but he's owned by juventus he was actually on loan rakitic everyone knows rakitic and his quality is incredible uh, for barca and perisic perisic was doing a season uh, um, with 11 goals and 11 assists it tells you a lot what he's capable of. Uh, when he is in a good uh, in a good moment of uh, of physical shape, he can change ge the game by himself. Um, he's also very very consistent on helping the midfield. That is not something that you that you should uh, not consider because as a coach they love these kind of players. Uh, as a striker, I mean, uh, rumor says they will play Mansukic, but I'm not so sure about it because Mansukic. Uh, the last season in Juventus was playing more as a as a wide as a wide striker, not as a as a number nine. I don't know. I would actually use Kramaric. That is a, a cobra, very dangerous player in the goal area. Very dangerous. He can actually uh, appear and disappear in a game, but he's very very little in the goal area. And then they have a talent that I adore. Honestly, there was a big mistake from uh, Fiorentina letting him go for. Uh, not so much money actually and he's Ante Rebic. Ante Rebic is a guy that can, that can actually contend a place in the 11 to Perisic. Uh, it's uh, very similar to Alan Boxic. He has a progression, uh, a pace and a speed uh, in devastating player when, he went, when it's in a good day. And uh, besides some physical problems he was having a great season in Eintracht Frankfurt. Uh, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria is a very tough team. It's a, it's 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 a technical team. Uh, big guys. Uh, they actually play a very fast football. Verticalization. Uh, they have actually experienced player like Kobe Mikel that now is playing in China in Tianjin. Uh, they have actually a player like Moses that can that can dribble, that can actually create chances to score goals. Last season was playing as a right back. In Chelsea, but uh, it's a very dangerous uh, winger. Um, then they have uh, Iwobi that is playing for Arsenal. This guy is a talent. This guy is a 1996. He doesn't score much goals, but uh, he can dribble three or five men men uh, at the time. Uh, very fast. He could be actually determined that uh, that for him would be, could could be determined that uh, would rise his star up. Um, Igalo. Igalo was doing a couple of seasons ago a great season in Premier League with what for if I'm not making a mistake. Now he's in China as well, uh, but it's a it's a it's a decent number nine. I like him. Of course, he is capable of scoring goals. He's a big guy, uh, but uh, honestly, in this team, I could I can think about a couple of surprises. Talents like Etebo. That was moving to Stock City in the transfer market for 7.5 million. He's a number 10. He can actually create chances uh, either with the ball or without the ball. He's very fast. He can actually uh, shoot with both both uh, feet without any kind of problem. Uh, this is a guy to keep an eye on. Uh, same thing for Hienacho. If Igalo is not in a good shape, uh, Hienacho is going to get the place in the 11, guys. Uh, and watch out because there are there's this player Simi from Crotone. Um, he was having a, a terrific end of the season. He was scoring, including a bicycle kick against uh, against Juventus. So guys, uh, Nigeria is full of talent. It's not an easy team to play against. And then there's Island. Iceland. What can I say about Iceland? They have actually the iconic 4-4-2. Uh, all players are actually playing as an army. Uh, they have a unique, uh, a unique style. Very simple football, very fast. Two, three touches. There, there are no stars beside uh, one of the greatest right foot in Premier League. That is uh, Gilfi Sigurdsson. That is playing for Everton. This guy is very dangerous on free kicks, guys. Uh, we will see. And then they have, of course, the experience of uh, uh, Birkir Bjarnason that is playing uh, currently for Aston Villa and uh, Alfredson. 
Alfredson, he was playing in Italy for a long time for Verona, Udinese. Uh, and then as a striker, they have this guy, Finn Bogason. I remember we, him when he was coached, uh, um, coached by, by Van Basten. He was one of his idols uh, in Herenven. This guy is, is a very dangerous striker. Uh, he's technical, he's a big guy, he can score goals. Uh, so that's why I'm saying this group, this group, the group T is very, very balanced. I'm saying, I, I mean, my my predictions are Argentina first, Croatia second, and then Nigeria and Iceland. But surprises can happen in this group because all teams are very organized and they contain quality. So watch out. Uh, thank you for actually uh, listening to me, to my videos, watching my videos. Uh, comment below uh, if you if you actually actually have uh, some considerations. Please share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support. Ciao.